rooms full of strangers to laugh at me. I wish that were a joke. People often say to me, are you Jerry Hall's mum? <laughs> Jerry Hall's mum. I'd like to be Jerry Hall. I'd love her wardrobe. Do you know she's got a separate house to keep it in? Two houses side by side? Well, that must be a bit inconvenient. Dead of winter, having to knit next door every time you need a new set of undies. <laughs> I'd love her money too. Fifteen million pounds, not dollars. Oh, I forgot about Brexit. <laughs> but I'd still love her money. But one thing I cannot stand is her taste in men. Nick Jagger. I hate <laughs> men. Are you alright? <laughs> to suck off a man who can't get no satisfaction. <laughs> You'd get cramp in your cheek. <laughs> uh, or, or repetitive strain injury in your tongue. <laughs> and um, her current husband, Rupert Murdoch, he's even worse. <laughs> Tell me, ladies, any of the ladies here, what would it be like to wake up next to Rupert Murdoch? Look at her face. <laughs> Disgusting, isn't it? Be a nightmare. And, um, well, you know, if I could beam Jerry down here, in the words of Mrs. Merton, there's one question I'd ask her, I'd say. Tell us, Jerry, what first attracted you to 85-year-old billionaire Rupert Murdoch? <laughs> I think we know, don't we? It wasn't his beautiful blue eyes or his stunning physique. Jerry Hall doesn't do poor, does she? So, give me a cheer if you are, or have ever been poor. Yeah. Oh, come on, fess up, fess up, fess up. Fess up, give me that cheer. Yeah. Jerry Hall would never fuck you. <laughs> but look around you. There's plenty of other women and men who would. So, you know, fuck you, Jerry. <laughs> but um, apparently, when um, uh, Mick Jagger, uh, way back before he was with Jerry Hall, he used to go out with Marianne Faithful. And um, there is an urban legend, which I don't know if anyone here is old enough to have heard it. Anyone heard the urban legend? You're smiling, no? I think I know what I'm saying. What is it? <laughs> it's something to do with the Toblerone, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> Like, espèce de connard, je te hais. 
which loosely uh, translated means I hate you, you species of cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mum was French, in case you didn't get the accent. <laughs> and um, I think that's why my dad's family, they always hated my mother. And uh, now that she's dead, they all hate me instead. <laughs> Yay! So, I, I thought that I would try to bring my whole family together by marrying a Nigerian. <laughs> yeah, so all Dad said to me was, Sara, he is going to take you for a ride. As a matter of fact, he did take me for a ride on his cock. <laughs> Five times a day. I loved it. It was brilliant. I mean, that is 35 times a week. Oh, yeah, 35 times a week. I get cock. <laughs> it was brilliant. Anyway, anyway, changing the subject from cock, if we may. <laughs> Uh, I mean, now tell me, tell me, give me a cheer, any of you, if you voted for Brexit. Oh, come on, fess up, someone did. None of you? One, just look two, come on, fess up, it's all right. It's all right, how are you feeling about it now? I spoiled my paper. <laughs> That's good. So, uh, give me a cheer if you didn't vote for the Brexit. Yay! Okay. Uh, give me a cheer if you didn't vote at all. Yeah. I didn't vote at all. <laughs> I'm regretting it now. <laughs> so, um, what's your name? Glenn. Glenn. So, Glenn. Oh. No, it's you, it's you. Stri stripey jumper. Nice smiley face. No, it is you, Glenn. <laughs> yes, I've picked on you. What, is that your name, Glenn? Uh, Gorkan. Gorkan. Oh, where are you from? I'm from Turkey. Oh, so how are you feeling about the Brexit? I don't want no, no, but how do you feel now being foreign? Do you think we want you to go away? It doesn't feel okay, yeah. No, it doesn't feel great. Like, you seem very happy, though, which, you know, congratulations to be happy. But I think the atmosphere is a bit scary. Does anybody else feel that way? Yeah, yeah I, I have been feeling so depressed since the Brexit, that I've been writing jokes about it. So, which would reach maximum velocity first if pushed off Trump Tower accidentally? Theresa May or, um, what's his name, Boris Johnson? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and what do we think of Boris Johnson? Boo! Boo! I hate Boris. Do you know, he said the other day, he said he was going to make a titanic success out of the Brexit. <laughs> I mean, does he know? Titanic, it sunk first time out. What a dickhead, isn't he? I mean, and he is making us a laughing stock in Europe. You know, fat Boris comes in and says, you won't be selling your Prosecco. Who gives a fuck? Shut up, Boris. Shut the fuck up. You're... All of Europe is laughing at us. It's true. Do you know that? I don't know now. <laughs> they are. They're laughing. Uh, have we got any Europeans here? Anyone here who, apart from yourself, that's not European? Yeah, well. <laughs> that's not European. But anyone here who's not English? No? You're all English. Well, let me tell you, because I have French family, I'm feeling, they think I'm English. I might tell you that. My English family are, you know, dubious about me. <laughs> but my French family, definitely I'm English. And, and they're laughing at us. So uh, that's really embarrassing. But here's what I'd like to do to Boris. I would like to stick a gag in his mouth. And, and I would like to whip him, tie him up, and whip him, because he deserves it. And then I'd charge him for the privilege. <laughs> Except he'd probably enjoy that. So what I'd do next is I would get a massive strap on, the biggest <laughs> one I could find, and I would use it on him. <laughs> Definitely. And, and what I think is, uh, after that, I'd get this whole room to gang rape Boris Johnson. <laughs> 
Yeah, he deserves it. He deserves it. And after his bottom was all sore and he felt abused, then I would say to him, now you know how we feel, Boris. Your lies and your bullshit. Now you know how I feel. That's exactly. Exactly. Now you know how I feel with my mixed race daughter who's afraid now, who's afraid, who feels people don't want her and, and who got five um, A stars on her GCSEs and wanted a good job and she's now afraid. Thank you, Boris. You know, sorry, sorry, I got, I'm angry, you know. I'm angry and I'm upset for my child. Not for me, it doesn't matter. My life is three quarters over. But for the younger people who had hopes and, and, and all that, I'm angry. But I don't know, it's my, uh, thank you. Thank you, my love, thank you. You've been a great audience. Thank you very much for listening to this.